one of the concepts that seems to be getting a lot of traction is just using the browser, using the web standards that have been uh, implemented into the browser and even in your own language, whether that's JavaScript or PHP. And one of my favorite fun features in Livewire is the wire confirm dialog. Now this is not right, having to write a single line of JavaScript. Instead, you just get to use the web standards without having to write the web standard itself. So let's imagine you have this button that just deletes everyone, everything, deletes your account, deletes your data, everything. Uh, right now, it just you know, just says good luck. So if I accidentally click that, uh, everything's deleted. But what can we do about actually, you know, making this a little bit safer while using the web standard of like a confirm dialog box? If you were to write this out in JavaScript. It would take a little bit because you're hooking into like this this button, you're doing everything like that. So it's as simple as typing in wire confirm. And then here we can just uh, type in whatever that confirmation dialog asks. So are you sure you want to delete everything? So this is again just confirming this wire click action. So if we were to take a look at what this looks like, uh, we click this. Are you sure you want to delete everything? Okay. And then the actual action that you've set up in Livewire, again, that's the this uh, delete everything function actually runs. So you just already have this kind of built out of the box with Livewire to use the web standard. But the great thing is you can actually do more as well. So if I was to um, have a wire.confirm prompt, which comes out of the box with Laravel Livewire, and I was to say, are you sure type delete to confirm and then anything past this pipeline is what you want them to actually enter into this prompt. So refresh, say delete everything. Okay, are you sure? Type delete to confirm. Bam, and then it happens. Again, one of my favorite features of Livewire, mostly just because it uses the web standard, it uses what you're used to within the browser without having to actually write it yourself.